Hi, welcome to NX12 video tutorial. It's a follow up to the last one. I want to improve the surface and I want to show you some more options. I've already duplicated this one here and seems that one is just hidden. So I've duplicated this circle and that profile as I did before in the other video. Now I want to do first a sweep, a swept. So let's see, surface swept, and I want to use just that profile here. Go for tangent curves or connected ones like this, and select one guide, this one. And of course, I want to have a sheet and confirm. Now let's hide that surface. And I need a line. So go for curve, go for line. Should start right here. Should go in set direction, maybe 20 in length. And the start point should be minus 20. OK. Now let's do another swept with that line along that curve because I need some sort of boundary for my trims. Let's bring back the other sweep, show it. Now I want to trim this surface with that surface. So go for surface trim sheet. I want to trim and keep this side. And the boundary will be this surface. And OK. Now let's hide the trim. I want to trim those curves. So let's see, go for curve, trim curve, go for connected curves, yes. I want to trim the circle with this surface, apply this one with that surface, apply those with that surface apply this one apply and that one apply and okay or maybe let me see this should be yeah the, no that's the other one around so go for discard this side which i've selected so i want to okay so it went for sill surf curves so again trims curve this one not sinew curve, but tangent curves. Yeah, of course. Go for trim curve, select connected curves, yes. Like this, and then go for that surface. And I want to keep this side and OK. Now. And I just noticed that's the wrong one or the right one. The wrong one, of course, it's the wrong one. So go for discard and OK. Or is it? Yes, I think that's it. Now let's hide that surface and bring back the trim sheet, this one, yeah. I want to make an extrude here and there. And that I should do before, of course, the trims. So let's go to the swept, make it the current feature, and just.
make extrudes one extrude with this curve here the other way around make it 20 and of course it should go for tangent curves like this that's amazing takes only That's the swept. Yeah, let's go for go here like this and then do the extrudes. So tangent curves, yes. That's the curve. So why the hell does it only that's strange, but go for sheet and apply same over here circle in that direction 20 should do and go for another sheet okay now let's go back to our last trim curve hide this one and now i want to make a through curves mesh with these so I could hide the arcs yes that should do go for surface through curves mesh okay and I want to use this half circle this half circle this profile that profile and this profile so let's check yeah that's okay and now the first primary should be tangent to this surface here the second or last primary in this case should be tangent to this surface now for the cross curves I want to use this edge here and I want to add that edge here and again the first cross should be tangent to this surface and the last cross should be tangent to the surface as well so this should give me a nice surface so go for okay let's hide those extrudes and now i can do another swept or through curve mesh let's take a look okay i will go for a swept so go to swept use this profile here and maybe hide that surface for the moment that would be the trim sheet here let's hide this one and then select this curve and add that one direction should be okay now let's bring back that trim sheet and select as guide this edge here and of course the other edge as well go for a sheet and confirm looks pretty good now let's hide those curves and sew those this one this one and that one 
and OK. Let's mirror it. Go home more. Mirror geometry, this geometry with that plane here. OK, and of course, sue them as well. And I'm done. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you wonder why I did it, I want to use this kind of method for the other programs because I've already noticed that I have it to do more like this and I cannot do it like I did it in Kadir. So again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my Facebook fan page, would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one. Bye-bye.